real strong. Yeah, and Mike, I I I I was there the day that t- we went down in Philly, and it was like heartbreaking um, to to go through that process when you had the the, the injury. You know, I, I want you to take us back to the field at that moment when that injury happened. Take us back, and where were you mindset wise? And what you know first, and I had taken some hits like falling and felt like, you know, I could shake, you know, shake it off. You know, yeah, you feel when you take one of those hits, it's like a stinger, yeah. the whole body shakes, but you shake it off and everything. When I laid on the field that time, and, and I remember I took the hit and I rolled over and, and they were like, uh, say something like move your legs or cross, uh, cross your legs or something. She said, I'll cross your legs. My legs were crossed. And, excuse me, and I said, uh, I did. In the look on, mm. Mm. On, on, on on the person's face, it's what scared me. I was like, oh. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? They didn't hide that my legs did not uncross. And I was like, whoa. You know, and then you, you I, I just felt the fear, the fear of it all. Because that's the one thing I think every football player, deep down inside, is worried about. If you ask me, his deepest heart, darkest fear is always ending up paralyzed on the football field, and 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 to have to have had that really happen to you, that was that that was a scary situation. I I definitely thought that uh yeah that it was over, and I, and all I could think about at that time was, man, I remember that morning, little Michael, we were throwing the football, and he said he kept wanting to throw, and I said I had to go, I had to go, I had to go playing mm. the day before that, mm. I got to go. And, and, and he, I said, we'll do it when I get back. We'll do it when I get back. And I thought about that. I said, well, they're, they're, we won't oh, be able to do it when I get yeah. back. Oh, but, 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 but thank God. Thank God. Thank, things, things worked out. And, and I'm doing okay. I'm doing well. Yeah. Man. Yeah, man. I, I'm telling you, you know, I'm over here crying right now, man, because I, I remember it's like it was yesterday, being on the field when that happened, like walking out from the sideline, and the guy who's been your leader all this time being on the ground. And I think there there was a point of for for all of us of being, you know, you had that feeling of invincibility. Mm-hmm. And then when you see your dude, like the dude, the alpha dude on the ground yeah. and can't get a man, that that it just it just took me back to that moment. Mm-hmm. Because then I looked at my looked at self and thought, man, hey, this could be any of us. If it's gonna happen to him, it could be any of us, man. And I'm glad and you shared that, man. Yeah, but it was just it was, and for me, what it, it was, it didn't even seem it wasn't a big it wasn't a big hit or anything. Nope. It wasn't a devastating hit, and it was it was so hard to accept. Even beyond that, even beyond that, you know, coming, I, I tried to get back on the field because I had gone to see a lot of doctors, and 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 basically what they what I have is stenosis, a narrowing of the spinal column, and 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 saying you know maybe the next hit. Could be could be devastating, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay, might be unfortunate, it'd be okay, but the next one may be devastating. And, and I really wanted to try. I really wanted to try. And the whole thing was, uh, my wife said, now, "Baby, you know, you know how you are. You're going, you're you're going to challenge yourself in that area. You're going to challenge. If if, if I think everybody's thinking about it, I'm gonna show you. I'm not scared of it." And and she said that, that right there. She said, "How can you put me through that? Yeah. How can you put us through that?" Mm-hmm. You know, I hear every time you get hit, we're holding our breath. And, and then I, you know, I, I finally just said I had to relent and say, okay. But, but that, that, that's just, that was a hard process. Because, you know, I, I, I often joke before that saying they want to drag me off the field. Mm-hmm. I ain't leaving. Right. I don't mm-hmm. That's how much I love it. I, I'm not leaving this. Yeah, you know, I'm never going to stop playing. And they literally ended up, that's exactly what they did. They mm-hmm. carried me off the field. Yeah. I did it. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly how it happened. Wow. 